Hello everyone, today we are going to look at systematic listing and this is from P4 Heuristics. So question 2. First, let's read the question. A teacher gives some lollipops to her pupils. He has less than 10 pupils. If he gives each pupil 4 lollipops, he will have 2 extra. If he gives each pupil 5 lollipops, he will be short of 4 lollipops. How many pupils and lollipops does the teacher have? Give their please possible answer. Alright, next, we need to highlight or underline the keywords or phrases from this question. So the first key phrase will be, the teacher has less than 10 pupils. Next, the first condition in this question is, if he gives each pupil 4 lollipops, he will have 2 extra. Next condition is, if he gives each pupil 5 lollipops, he'll be short of 4 lollipops. So we need to find how many pupils and lollipops does the teacher have. Okay, we need to draw a table for this question. So the first table will consist of number of pupils multiplied by 4 and plus 2. Alright, why is it so? Because if there is one pupil from the first condition, you need to multiply by 4, there will be 4 lollipops. And because the teacher will have 2 extra if he gives each people 4 lollipops. So you got to add plus 2 and then 4 plus 2 will be 6, a total of 6 lollipops. Next, the second column will be if there are 2 pupils. It will be 2 times 4 will be 8 plus 2 will be a total of 10 lollipops. With 3 pupils, 3 times 4 will be 12 plus 2 you get 14 lollipops. So we will continue the table, fill up the table up to 9 pupils because the teacher has less than 10 pupils. So the maximum number of pupils the teacher could have will be 9 pupils. So we have a different total from 4 pupils will be a total of 18 lollipops, 5 pupils to 22 lollipops, 6 pupils, 26 lollipops, 7 pupils, 30 lollipops, 8 pupils, 34 lollipops and 9 pupils, 38 lollipops. Okay, from the second condition, if he gives each pupil 5 lollipops, he will be short of 4 lollipops. This means that we take 1 pupil multiplied by 5, we get 5 and you need to take away 4 lollipops. You have a total of 1. With 2 pupils, the total will be 6 lollipops, 3 pupils, 11 lollipops, and you continue the second table for the second condition till 9 pupils. Alright, and you have a different total from 4 pupils with 16 lollipops, 5 pupils, 21, 6 pupils, 26, 7 pupils, 31, 8 pupils, 36 lollipops, and lastly 9 pupils, 41 lollipops. Alright, next, we need to find the matching total number of lollipops from the first two for the first two condition right we can see that the only from the last column or the last row the only total number of like box that match for the first and second condition will be when there are six pupils when there are six pupils the total number of like box will be equals to 26 right so we have the answer the teacher has six pupils and a total of 26 lollipops Alright, that's all. Thank you. Bye-bye.